Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemmy Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add local notifications into your apps. Now, on the iOS simulator here, I have an example of what we'll be creating today. So basically, when you 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 see it all the time when you have your device and then all of a sudden a little message pops up, a little notification pops up from one of your applications, giving you some kind of message, mostly telling you to, you know, please come back to our app. We want you to play with us again. So, and how that works is, we're going to show you now. So, um, there's nothing to the application. It's just when you close the application, I've set it to five seconds. So, within the five seconds, we just wait now. You see at the top there, the notification banner appears. It played a nice little sound there, and it gives us a little message. So, I'm going to be showing you how to create that today. So, already, I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it local notifications for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we want to do is go into our appdelicate.m as that's where all the code is going to happen. And we're going to be placing our first bit of code, there's like kind of two parts to this tutorial. So we need to place the um, code in the section here the application did enter background as we want the notification to be triggered when the user closes the application so if you just jump straight in now and start writing out so just after the uh, text already in there let's do a couple of enters here so we can clearly see what we're typing so what we're going to do is start by typing ns date space Asterisk, and I simply name it alarm time space equals space bracket bracket ns date space date and after the first bracket we do a space then date by adding a time interval adding time interval here now in the highlighter section here will be the number of seconds you want your banner to appear. So you could do it, you could put in the seconds for an hour, maybe two hours, three hours, maybe even a week down the line. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just gonna do five seconds as we haven't got all the time in the world to wait. So we just simply do five, then I have a bracket and a semicolon, then we do enter, then we do UI application, space, asterisk, and I'll name it app, space equals space bracket UI application again space shared application as we now enter in the app delegate and we want it to um, run throughout the whole app so we do bracket semicolon then we do UI local notification space asterisk and I'll name it note Notify alarm space equal space bracket bracket UI local notification again space alloc after the bracket there we do space in it and then a bracket and a semicolon so we kind of set up the basics there of telling our application that there is going to be a um, notification within five seconds now we need to write what the notification will be so if we do if statement now so if we notify the alarm so basically if the local notification is going to happen so if notify alarm and then these statements here do notify alarm dot fire date now the fire date will be the um, well, is when it's going to appear. Now, as we want it, we've set it to a um, appear five seconds, and the NS for our NS date here. So we've named it alarm time. So we do space equals alarm time. So the fire date is going to appear. The alarm time and the alarm time is set to five seconds after the application is closed. So end that with a semicolon. Do space notify alarm again dot time zone space equals space ns time zone 
space. Let's just simply do a default time zone. And then a semicolon. And then we do enter again. And again, notify alarm dot repeat interval. Now, as we're going to only want it to appear once, we're just going to put zero. We don't want it to appear again. Just just once is um, good enough. You don't want to get don't want the um, user to be annoyed with your all these notifications being bombarded. So, you know, you want them to keep the app on their device and not delete it because you're trying to spam them. So let's keep it at zero. And then we do notify alarm again. Dot sound name. Now the sound name here will be the name of a um, .wav file. Now you can either leave it out or add your own custom sound file. Now I'm going to be showing you how to do this. So we do equals that symbol quotation mark quotation mark and that may semicolon. Now if you didn't know this already, I have a little .wav file on the desktop here. So if I just turn the volume up and play it. So a nice little kind of alert sound. So if I just drag and drop that into the project, make sure it's copied to the items um, into destination group folder, press finish. So once that's in there, I'll now type the name of the sound file, which is reminder.wav. So when the alert, um, notification appears, the uh, sound file, this sound file here, play. So it's a nice little custom making your app stand out above the others when it comes to notifications. So now do enter. Now we do notify alarm dot alert body. Now this will be the message you're going to give your um, notification. So just like in the simulator I showed you I'll just type in this tutorial is awesome. So again, plays the sound and the message will be displayed. This tutorial is awesome. So now we do enter and this time we do app space scheduled local notification and in the highlighter section we do notify alarm end that with a semicolon. Now if you didn't, or I said at the beginning there's kind of two parts to this um, tutorial. The first part is creating the notification and making it work. So if I went into the simulator now and exited from the app, five seconds we wait and it appears up. But the um, the second part is when we click into the app, exit, click into the app, exit, click into the app and exit again, we just wait. You can see the um, it's repeating because obviously we've set it every time we close the app. Now what we want to do is every time we reopen the app, all the notifications that have been scheduled to appear kind of disappear if, if you kind of get it. So we want to um, cancel all the notifications that are lined up to appear. So say we did this again, we did it three times. Now three banners are going to appear just like this. So what we would do now is if we did that, every time we go into it, it will cancel the um, all the um, notifications that are going to appear, basically anyway. So what we would do now is application will enter foreground so this is when the application becomes live again we have to do UI application space asterisk name it app just like on our notification at the top there equals bracket UI application space shared oh we got something wrong here shared oh sorry I've done a plus symbol get rid of that we need to do it equal sorry Shared application and then a bracket and a semicolon space and s array space asterisk. I name it old notification space equals space app 
scheduled local notifications in that array bracket in a semicolon. And then here we go. So we do if bracket old notifications count bracket space the more than symbol zero. So basically, what we're saying is if the um, the amount of notifications waiting in the line is greater than the number zero, meaning if there is any at all, we are going to bracket app cancel all notifications. So it's pretty simple to understand there and how it works. So then if we jump into our simulator, I'll do exactly the same thing again. Oh, I've got a little problem there. It's, oh, because I already had it running, sorry. So if we build now, so then if we close the app, five seconds, our notification will appear. There we go. Now, like before, if I went into it, closed it, went into it, closed it, went into it, and then when I close it again now, only one should appear as I've closed it now for the last time. So we wait five, so only one appears. So if I went into it, so build up, that would be two, come out of it, we wait, and then only one appears. As it cancelled all the notifications in the line, and obviously when I close the application, it will load the only one as I close the application. So that's basically how you add local notifications within your apps. Now it's a great feature to um, get in users who haven't played your application in a while, giving them a message saying, "Hey, you know, my app's still on your device. Come and play me, you know," or just giving some general information. So again, that's how you basically add um, local notifications to your apps. Hope this tutorial helps, and hope it, you know, hope you can implement it in your apps or projects at the moment. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe to us and make sure you like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter so you're up to date with what's going on at Geek Elemon. But again, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.